हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ओफा स्टडीज यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज पार्ट थर्टी सिक्स इन अजू डेटा फैक्ट्री रियल टाइम सीनारी प्ले लिस्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू एक्सिक्यूट सीक्वल स्क्रिप्ट यूजिंग लुकअप एक्टिविटी इन साइड अजू डेटा फैक्ट्री सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी प्रैक्टिकल एक्साम्पल्स ऑफ इट डूइंग इट सो लेट मी गो टू माई अजू डेटा फैक्ट्री सो दिस इज माई अजू डेटा फैक्ट्री स्टूडियो ए डी एफ माहिर दिस इज माई डेटा फैक्ट्री सो लेट मी गो टू दिस पेन्सिल आईकॉन विच इज आधार आईकॉन दैट्स वेर यू डेवलप युअर पाइपलाइंस एंड एवरीथिंग let me create a new pipeline here so as i said this video is to execute sql scripts using lookup activity right so in this pipeline let me drag and drop lookup activity here so whenever you want to execute any sql script on your database from lookup activity you need to make sure under settings of lookup activity select a data set which is pointing to your sql database table i mean uh, don't worry to which table this data set is pointing why because the moment you select query option here whatever the table it is pointing to that is going to be ignored whatever the query you run it for example it is pointing to employee table let's assume and you are running a query to select a data from department table then still it will work so many people will confuse okay my data set pointing to employee table then maybe i should use a query which do some action on the employee table only it's not the case a, the query can be anything the only thing is that particular table or object should be on the database to which this data set is pointing to not to that table okay so now here so i, I have already selected one uh, let me open this so this is a data set which is connecting to my sql database and it is pointing to some employee table let it be this option is going to be negligible for you because we are going to use the query option here so now if you want to execute any query right uh, from the lookup activity so you need to go with this query option and here simply type any query so let me type this select star from tbl employees table so i have a tbl employees table in my database if i go here so if you see here this is the database to which i am pointing and if i expand this if i go to tables i have a table called the tbl employees okay so i am trying to get a, all the rows from that particular table so let me remove this first row only what this will do from the output it will get only first row so i am removing that now let me debug execute this pipeline and see whether my select query will run on top of my table and get the data or not so let's wait for the execution to complete here great query executed successfully if i see the output json see here totally 12 rows written and uh, employee id 1 employee id 2 like that all the values will be written inside this value array okay so that means i am able to run the sql query now let's assume uh, what if so select query is working fine but what if maybe i want to execute some update query or delete query or maybe create table query so will that work or not the answer is yes so let me practically show you that so let me use create table maybe i want to create table like uh, tbl demo okay and this table has only one column let's assume id which is integer type so if i run this query will it work or not let's practically see that so let me debug execute this query now and let's try to make sure whether my lookup activity will successfully run that query or not you can see my uh, pipeline execution status is in queued now you can see query execution failed if you see the error message uh, it says it could be because of query does not return any data because it is not a select query right it is not going to return anything so it's a create query same case with update query so these queries will not return anything right if it is not select so look up activity right always try to see whether your script whatever you are executing will that return any value or not since my query whatever i am passing here it is not going to return anything as a output so that is the reason this activity status became failed and if i see the error message it says this could be because query is not returning anything basically it's not a select query like that okay so now let's see whether query actually okay activity status shows has failed here now let me go to my uh, sql server management studio and here let me refresh the tables and see whether query ran or not so i am executing i, I am refreshing my tables folder here under ssms uh, studio so let's wait for the refresh to complete here great if you see here tbl demo table created here successful if i open i should see that id column also here so that means basically what happened uh, see id column is also there that means query executed but since query is not returning any, anything so here the status shows has failed so to avoid this kind of errors we need to do a small little tip or hack so simply write below your queries simply write like select one as a b c d or column one so, i mean uh, just add one select query at the bottom Uh, so that uh, your query is on a whole returning something okay yeah so if you if you go if you are going to use this kind of a small tip 
or or a small uh, small hack this is going to help you avoid this activity failure errors so now let's try to create a table called tbl demo 1 by using this select query at the start or the ending of your all the query block so now let's try to debug execute this and see whether our activity status will show success or failure so you can see my uh, activity status is right now in queued status so let's wait for the execution to complete here great see activity executed successfully and if you see it is returning a b c d 1 why because the select query what we use select one as a b c d and now if i go to sql server management studio if i refresh this tables folder i should see that uh, demo one table also here as well here great see my demo one table got created successfully without any issue so now let's take another example so sometimes right in real time this uh, uh, create statements or update statements sometimes they will not work for example instead of create table if i use create schema demo so i am trying to create a schema called demo in my database and if i use this select one as abcd here still this query is going to fail so let me debug execute and show you the error also so let's wait for the execution to complete here you can see my lookup activity status is in queue status right now so let's wait for the execution uh, i i hope it should fail actually why because uh, if you see some queries right uh, uh, they are they are they are they are failing if you directly use them so there is a little hack for that as well i am going to show you that now so let's wait for the execution to complete here see my query execution failed and if i see the error message it says uh, there is some uh, incorrect syntax uh, near keyword select like that so if you are getting this kind of error that means even though you use a select one as abcd something like that here at the bottom still this query is this this entire block execution in the lookup activity is showing as a failure let let's go to sql server management studio and let me see the schema whether it is created or not so i am expanding this uh, security folder under this database and if i navigate to schemas if you if i see here there is no demo schema right that means it is not created so if what is the how to avoid this kind of errors where you see the error message saying uh, incorrect syntax near select so if this is the error you are facing when you are trying to execute some kind of query in your sql be it maybe create statement be it maybe update delete or whatever maybe the simple thing is use this entire thing as a dynamic query and execute it what i mean is i will practically show you that you try to create a variable first like this declare maybe at the rate sql uh, as sorry as not will come so i am i'm just declaring a variable here which is nvar care of type 1000 maybe let's assume okay and then below set set value for this variable so copy this variable and for this variable i am trying to set a value like my query whatever the create schema demo so this query i am going to set it as a value for this and then to execute the query whatever i have inside this variable i can use there is something called execute uh, sp underscore execute sql query okay so for this query i can pass my variable so inside this variable whatever the query it has that query will get executed so if i use this kind of query right let me copy this and let me go to the management studio so that you can make sense so if i use this kind of query right declare a variable and then uh, your your query dynamically set inside this particular variable and then execute that uh, variable query using this sp execute sql this is a system stored procedure then this if you execute this right this is going to create a schema okay so like this you change your query logic instead of using the direct query inside the lookup activity change it something like this and you can paste it here so right now here right let me select this three lines and let me execute it for your understanding whether this will run success or not see command executed successful here and if i refresh the schema i should see that demo schema also why because uh, just now uh, that's what the query i executed by passing that query dynamically into this variable see demo schema is there so now the same thing uh, let me use like uh, say create schema demo one and let me copy this all code and paste it inside the lookup activity and if you see this it is the same thing declare a variable then for that variable pass your query dynamically and then execute the query inside the variable using system stored procedure called sp execute sql and finally because your entire code should return something so use select one as abcd something like that now if i run this this is going to work successful and you are going to see your schema also get created in the sql server management studio so let's wait for the execution to complete here yeah see my execution completed successfully now if i go to sql server management studio and if i refresh schemas i should see that the demo one schema also here see demo one schema came here that means my query executed successful 
so let me go to presentation uh, so that's it in this video i hope now you uh, got an idea like how to run sql queries using lookup activity in the azure data factory so thank you for watching this video if it is helpful please uh, like this video and try to subscribe this channel so that you will get a notification whenever i add videos thank you so much